Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building Mr. Bean's 1969 Mini Cooper. So for the car I'm going to use for this build, is obviously going to be the Weenie Izzy Classic, which was uh, just recently released into GTA Online. And as you can see, the interior is fucking amazing. And the exterior is just as equally amazing so without any further ado guys let's get into ls customs and we're going to transform this bad boy into mr beans mini cooper so straight off the bat guys this is going to be a pretty simple build i mean a lot of it is classic as it is so we're, i don't think we're going to have to change much in the way of like bumpers and all that sort of stuff but nevertheless we're going to start with 100 percent body armor as always and we're going to go to the bodywork and as you can see, this does change the trim around the windows. Also, the trim around the lights. What is going on? Why can't I move my camera? That is fucking spazzing out big time. Shit. So, maybe I won't change the camera angle then. Uh, we'll have, just have to look at it from this angle. So, as you can see, this is changing the trim, like I've already said. And uh, Mr. Bean's car is very classic. It does have the chrome trim around the edges just like the stock so we're going to leave it just like the stock then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper we are also going to leave this stock because all these others are color coded or you got carbon we got splitters or you got an extended bumper and we don't need any of that we need to stay chrome same with the rear we just need to stay chrome we don't want any mud guards or anything like that what is going on with my camera angle i can't no matter what angle i'm at i just can't move it it's not letting me do it. What the hell's going on there? Fuck, man. Anyway, we're going to stay stock for the rear bumper, for the chassis. Again, oh, I can move. I've got free, freedom of movement now. What the hell? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> for the chassis, I've, we're also going to stay stock because when we do change these ones, we get tour lights, rally lights, and then obviously uh, the secondary rally lights, and then we get like bucket seats on the inside, and then it changes the dashboards and all that sort of stuff. So we want to stay complete classic so we want to stay stock for the chassis for the engine we're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust again it is going to be the stock exhaust because obviously mr bean really didn't have much in the way of modifications to his car and um yeah so he's not going to have any crazy exhausts like this you know so we are going to stay stock for the exhaust and for the fender again i think we're going to stay stock because i don't know though because oh, again i'm having fucking problems with my country with my camera angle shit <laughs> because the trim at the minute around the wheel arches is black and um mr bean doesn't have a black trim around uh, around the wheel arches but he also doesn't have things like this so i think we're just gonna have to take one on the chin and just go with the black trim because these ones are just too extravagant for a mr bean car and uh, yeah, I think it'll look a bit silly, especially for the build that I'm trying to create. So you ought to stay stock for the fenders. Then we're going to go to the grill. We are going to get a, uh, it's going to be a black grill. Now, unfortunately, we don't have exactly what we need, but we do have something very similar. And it's going to be this bad boy, the, the carbon stock grill. For the hood, we do need to grab this secondary hood. We are going to go into lights, into headlights and purchase a Xeon headlights. Then we're going to go to the respray. You want to go primary color. And we're going to go classic for this. Purely because we're going to have two different colors. And usually when you pick two different colors. Like a primary and a secondary. They start blending together if you choose metallic. But anyway for the prime we were going to go with this uh, do yellow. Looks fucking awesome already man. Awesome already. Then for the secondary color we're also going to go classic. And go and purchase. We're going to go... No, we're not going to go classic, actually. We are going to go matte, and we're going to purchase grey. So next, we are going to move to the side skirts. And like I said, around the arches, we do have this black trim. And uh, it, ideally, we we should be able to uh, color code them, but we can't. But we can do it with a side skirt. So it kind of helps out a little bit. But I don't know if that looks a little bit too weird. You know, I don't think it's... Maybe it's probably best to... Just stay stock and have the black trim all the way across rather than having half and half. Oh, oh man, I don't know. I suppose uh, this is going to be personal preference. I think it looks better all one one color. I think we start breaking it up like this. It kind of looks a bit weird. It is a shame that we can't change the wheel arch color. Um, but 
you know, it is what it is, and we have to stick with the black. So, um, oh man, yeah, I think I'm gonna stay stock for the for the side skirt. But alternatively, if you if you'd like to, you could do the primary lip skirt uh, because that does work also. Next, we're gonna go to the spoiler. No, we're not gonna go to the spoiler. We don't want any of them, man. They are fucking all ugly for a start, and Mr. Bean does not have a spoiler, so we're gonna skip past that. For the suspension, we are gonna stay stock for the suspension. It is riding really low at the minute. I think that's got something to do with my V stance. I think I've done something to that and, <laughs> and it's applying to all cars that I'm getting into. So I'm going to have to change that. So we do want to stay stock for the suspension. For the transmission, we're going to get a race transmission turbo. We're going to get turbo tuning just because we don't want it to be a slouch. I know Mr. Bean doesn't have a turbo in his Mini, but you don't want it to be fucking slow as ass, do you? So you're going to have to buy a turbo. For the wheels, we're going to go into wheel type and I think we're going to go... I think we can either go low rider or muscle. Entirely up to you, whatever ones you prefer to go into because we need, is it the classic rod? Yes, it is. We need the classic rod. And I know usually I finish off a build with light smoke window tint, but Mr. Bean doesn't have anything close to light smoke window tint on his car. So we're not gonna do the window tint for this build. I know, it's the first time for everything and we're not gonna get the window tint for this build but anyway guys that is my variation of mr bean's 1969 mini cooper using the weenie izzy classic and i think this looks a fucking amazing so good man and i've definitely got something going on with my v stancer man because this is low as fuck that actually looks really cool i am going to quickly just check my um i know what i know i know what menu it is it is this menu menu Menyo, this is the one which is causing my suspension to be super motherfucking low because there you go, we've got the stance it and it is got crabs. <laughs> so we can change that and it oh shit. Holy crap. Why is it done that? Oh here we go, what a turn it off. There we go. So that's at the standard height now. And uh, yeah, that looks cool man. It looks more like Mr. Bean's mini now with uh, obviously the standard suspension. Do we want to keep it? Do we want to just apple bottom jeans it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That does look pretty awesome. But because it is Mr. Bean's Mini, we're just going to have it stock. And one thing I'm going to do actually whilst uh, I remember about it, I'm going to go to customs and I'm going to change the plate. Yes, I am. I'm going to give it a North Yankton plate. And we are going to change this to Bean. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Final touches complete. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, this Mini Cooper, aka the Winnie Easy Classic, it just looks so close to each other. It is really difficult to choose or pick any part of this Winnie Easy which is different to the real life Mini Cooper. And uh, obviously we can get the right color. You get the map gray on the hood. The right rims as well, man. It just looks so good. And especially if you, you're on PC, you can do the uh, the menu and uh, change the plate to bean. It just finishes it off a little bit. And you know, it just looks fucking awesome. I love this Weenie Izzy Classic, man. It just sounds amazing. The acceleration on this is fucking rapid. I must have torque turn up as well. Because <laughs> the Weenie Izzy isn't usually this, this quick. I know I was fucking about with um, the menus as I installed them the other day. So uh, I think I've left torque turn up because this is picking up to 120 man this is like supercar speed oh shit oh shit what did i just see a dodge charger in the wild i did look at that dodge charger in the wild that's a that's a sight for sore eyes man that is nice to see anyway like like i was saying back to this car it is so close to the Mini Cooper in real life, it is ridiculous. And uh, obviously, this build has come out amazingly, if I do say so myself, because it's very simple. Obviously, Mr. like I said, Mr. Bean doesn't have crazy modifications done to his car. And um, so this is really easy to build. All you got to do is get the right colors on the outside and the right rims. That is pretty much it. You haven't really got to change any anything else other than that. And uh, I'm overly happy with the way this has turned out. So, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.